What's up, citizens? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, MC Adventure City. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To episode 11 of Project Ozone Light. Where we're trying to get... Yeah. Quest. There we go. Quest done. Because really, my goal here, or no, um, what I need to do is not really. I I don't need to, but I'm I want to rush a. E. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this. And then we can get this. Yeah, because in order to get these presses, you need the Certus Quartz seeds. Which, maybe we're going to need this. Now we're going to need a dirt. Or our other side. So there we go. We'll just go ahead and get two dirt. Why the heck not? Then... Leave that one empty. So yeah, we're gonna need to. Yeah, wait for that to grow in order to get 32. Um, I believe. Yeah. Service quartz essence. For each of the presses. But in the meantime, what I should work on is getting into mechanism. Which requires that we get steel, which means we're going to need some sort of way to get steel, which would be an induction smelter. So we're going to need some invar, which we should already have the ability to get at the very least. Invar, we're gonna need how much invar? We're gonna need. Uh, do we have a gear cast? No, we do not. I don't think we do now. So we'll go for it the old way, the more expensive way, I should say. We need two invar gears, which is eight invar, some tin, redstone reception coils, easy. Redstone reception coil. I'll grab the tin gear. So I should toss this into the void. Since we don't have any of that place to that cobblestone. Anyways, let's go ahead and, um, for this. And then we're going to need also, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, 
bars only. We're going to need how much in bar? 10. Should be able to get ourselves a machine frame. We'll just use the basic induction smelter, honestly. We're going to need to do configuration. Actually, get some charcoal or something. Do I have any charcoal left? So to get um, steel, which we need to get ourselves a metal metallurgic infuser, requires iron furnaces, conductive iron osmium, which I think we have to get from oh, we should have plenty of that. Um, we're also going to need steel casing, which requires more. get with an iron. We're going to need 16 coal dust here. Will it work with, will it work with the pulverized charcoal? Is the real question here. It will. Move. Okay. gonna take a bit of time so in the meantime I will start working on the other items which are osmium we're gonna need five I need a bunch of iron furnaces which means we need a bunch of iron You know what I probably should do is just get, combine all these into chunks to save inventory space. Platinum, awesome, nickel, lead. We need more iron, which means we're gonna need. Where's our... Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get ourselves... Gonna start going everywhere, so maybe I should clean up my existing inventory a bit more.
this should get us plenty of space. Or plenty of iron, I mean. And after we do that... process it a lot of our ores because because we need to that should be enough osmium what we're gonna need okay, what I'm gonna do is break down a couple of these furnaces so that we can because we're not using them and we're going to need two conductive iron let's actually go ahead and get ourselves more glass back upstairs and grab ourselves the steel casing. We're also going to need, if we have the osmium, we're going to need conductive iron, which we should have. We don't have enough. We do have some, though. Be able to get a metallurgic infuser now, which I believe is a quest. Yes, it is. Let's actually claim these other quests that we haven't claimed yet. Middle loot chest. Middle loot chest. Oh, and now we should be able to claim this loot chest as well. We got a skeleton charm. Chance chances are pretty much useless. Let's, let's go ahead and see if they have the draconic Let's dump them out somewhere. Rod of the Shifting Crest and Mana There we go. That's the beginning of mechanism. Let's see here. How is this doing over here? Where's our What's our um toss a bunch of um toss a bunch of crap out because of this. This is gonna take a long time. To get all the Certus Quartz uh, essence we're gonna need, so maybe I should rush a uh, um a watering can part two, Inferium watering can. Theoretical infinite water source, which so yeah, we're gonna need three of this uh, mystical fertilizer or magical fertilizer or whatever it's fertilized essence, that's what it's called. Uh, which only has a ten percent drop chance, so that sucks. Anyways, 
So really, that the rest of that is just a grind fest. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we can't do AE right now because of that. Anyways, anyways. Could we get further into Draconic Evolution? Let's take a look at what it gets. It takes to get a Fusion Core. Just a lot of Nether Stars, so no, we can't do that. I mean, we've gotten a ton of them. Um, and Wyvern takes... Yeah, just a lot of stuff. Carbons, premium, yeah. You're gonna need to go through the iron or armor progression, which maybe I'll make a separate chest for that, but yeah, we've quite a ways to go before we can get into because of the way ozone has their their armor progression. They've always done that. Ergy and Chazador have always had ozone's armor progression like in a long chain of nested armor recipes. Although, since this is ozone light, it's not as long of a chain. Because diamond armor is used to get... Okay, I just had to open where it is. There it is. It's used to get inferior, which we use for dental intermediate superiors. Dark matter, red matter, gem, which you can use to get wyvern. You can either use the carbon or the gem. But yeah, we're far quite the ways off from that, as we're only on episode 11. <laughs> Let's go back to the quests and see how this cobblestone generator is doing. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna need a ton of this. Cobblestone in order to get this to the deep dark. Anyways, what does it take to get the, these things? Quantum. quantum storage, quantum storage unit that's expensive. Iridium, which you have to get with from another rack, which is a nine percent chance. Anyways, um, quantum tank. Vast, yeah, that also is expensive. It takes all that is expensive as heck, so no, none of that yet. Dank Knoll takes a lot of redstone, yeah. We're pretty much, yeah.
Yeah, and also, first off, I want to—I I meant to say this at the beginning of the episode, but I'm sorry for the lack of commentary last episode. It, I didn't realize until after I had recorded the thing that I forgot to turn my mic on from one of my previous videos that I was never, like, decided not to upload, which was a reaction video, where I was using some other, yeah, I didn't want to have duplicate audio tracks, so. <laughs> so yeah, um, Start working on some more quests, I guess. So, regular capacitor bank. Which takes some um, energetic alloy, another basic. How much do we have? Not enough. Yeah, I'm, I need to process all our ores, really. You know what I'm going to do? Do we have a magnetization ring? No. Or lens? No. We should probably get that, honestly. Since we have all the mana steel. Just so I can get the ring of magnetization. any bauble and wear it. Okay. And now, now let's um, make ourselves another four basic capacitors. So we can get, let's go back, look at the capacitor bank recipe. That requires, yeah, a bit of iron, which we haven't already have, and a block of redstone. double layer, so we're going to need a total of 8 energetic alloy, I believe. Yeah. So 
close down. Does this keep the charge? 45,000, yes it does. That's cool. There we go. It's quest completed. Let's see what's in this loot chest. Five more industrial grade graphite. Now we could actually not get the vibrant bag yet. Anyways, what does a runic altar take? I think it's just standard at this point, isn't it? Probably. I know we're just we're just getting turned into another miscellaneous quest episode, isn't it? And then the next thing we should probably go for is Terra Steel, which was made on a terrestrial agglomeration plate, which takes all the top or the early altars. We're in a man is easy. The fire's not too bad anyway. Rune of water is not too bad, except for Rune of Earth. It takes much rune, which are kind of bad. To get hard to get. Smithstone, Rune of Air it takes feathers, which means we need to get past the mob farm going. So yeah, that's yeah. We'll leave it leave it there with the Batania stuff. We'll put that away for the time being. Just um, we can't do that until we get like 32 Certus Quartz Essence take forever given that yeah given that we only have one seed for certus quartz now back to mechanism We actually place this down, this down somewhere, like right here. And then we're gonna need, yeah, we need to go get our, our thing. chests mm -hmm. 
there they are. They filled up instantly, yep. Then we're gonna need to next goal is probably to get circuits going, which means wherever I put it. I, 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 yeah, this is going to be. Uh, Bit of a pain going through all these chests. Here we go. Anyways, there we go. What else are we going to need? Iron and redstone and a metal arch, of course. So. Apparently, don't stack. That sucks. Conic evolution, we can't get into yet. Apparently we can get, yeah. Apparently we can get that now though. Yellorium and steel. I think we have enough of Yellorium to do, do we? Yeah, we don't have that much. We don't have nearly enough. So yeah, this might be the end of the episode. Honestly, we've completed a lot of Endryo quests. I'm just looking at the quests and seeing how many we've completed and stuff. And we need to do the entire Dengnol line. This is endgame stuff. Um, this we don't get until we get the dire crafting table, the project E stuff. This is just a grind fest. This we're mostly done with. We just need the top few tiers of simply jetpacks, which is resource collection and stuff. And before we can get that, and then energistics. Yeah, that's another grind fest because we need tons of service quartz essence to get the presses. So, yeah. Yeah, that'll probably be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. We will come back next time where I probably will have done a lot of off-camera work. And, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.